Shoreline, Washington, 98133. My age is 58. My military service was in Vietnam, 1968 to 72. I served on the flight deck of an aircraft carrier and I did two tours of duty there. I got Vietnam service medals, distinguished unit medals with various oak clusters and then came back to the States. I went into the Navy really to get on the GI Bill, otherwise I had no way to go to college. When I got out of the Navy, I worked for a couple of years in industry. In 1975, I applied to Harvard and I got in. So I graduated from Harvard and then was hired in a production department for a firm that did educational seminars all over the country. Stayed there for about five years and then got recruited away to another organization. 2001, I was in a high-tech company. I was both the office manager and an executive assistant to the senior vice president for worldwide applications development. I was very happy there. They built mission-critical software, but then 9-11 hit. Our business took a dive. About a month before I was laid off, my boss came in and said, Wayne, don't worry. A month later, he walked in and said, sorry. And I said, okay, that's fine, because I knew it was going to be easy for me to get a job. Except that tens of thousands of people were being laid off in San Francisco at that time. I spent a year looking very up. I didn't get a single reply to a single inquiry. My mom, who was living up in Canada invited us to go up there. I didn't realize it then, but some of the classic factors that lead to depression are moving, losing a job, and losing a relationship. And so I did all those three. I fell into the depression. I was in Canada. I didn't have any way to get medications. I spent basically a year in bed. It was awful. Absolutely awful. I gradually came out of that. I was living on my savings. Came back to Seattle and was fine. But when I went out to look for jobs, I had no contacts here at all. And after a couple of months, I was just getting really depressed, not even getting out of bed anymore, because I knew what was going to happen during the day. Nothing was going to happen. So there I was, homeless. I mean, you know, me homeless, it just doesn't make any sense. And there I was. I don't know why. I just happened to call up the VA and said, is there anything you can do for me? And they said, yeah, come on in the two emergency room. Let's take a look and see what's going on. So I did. They gave me some medications for overnight, told me to come back the next day. I talked to a psychiatrist. They gave me medications. They also then found a place for me to stay. But I couldn't be provided with housing unless I had an income, which I didn't have. So I had to go to GAO. It allowed me to get housing, subsidized housing. And then the VA arranged for me to go here to Shoreline. And I could just relax and I could just let go of all the worry for a while. I was here at the Compass Center about seven months. The GAU allowed me to come here and survive until it takes a while for the VA benefits to kick in. It took like six months. Well, if I didn't have the GAU, I would have been out on the street. And that is not a good place to get better. I am a capable person. I've worked my whole life. I've worked 48 hours in a row. I'm a dedicated, good, smart employee. If this can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. For the first time in many, many, many years, I've got my own place. I'm getting stronger. I'm on the right medications now. The depression is completely gone. Coming up in just a few weeks, I will then put in for a uh, CWT, which is a compensated work therapy for about three months to kind of get back into going to work every day. The VA and the DSHS have just been essential for me to get back to being a contributing member of society.